Rents in and around Sacramento on a dramatic rise, and housing experts say that it's not going to stop anytime soon. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Sam Shane. And I'm Adrian Moore. Union and non union workers rallied today in West Sacramento, demanding higher pay in order to afford the sharp rise in rent. CBS 13's Angela Musalam is live in Sacramento with the struggle these workers say they're facing. Angela. Sam, Adrian, posters like these marketing new home construction are all around Sacramento. The problem, the apartments are just too expensive for many local workers to live. For rent signs, mark an increase in supply. What do we want? Justice! But the demand is so much higher. The inflation is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Michelle Burgess, a single mom, is among many, calling for higher wages to help support her family. Burgess moved her family to the pocket neighborhood in Sacramento to give her children a safe place to live. That sacrifice doesn't come cheap. Sometimes I work six days a week just to make it. I cannot uh, move to Midtown, for example, and live closer to my job. State union worker Marvin Mangalo also struggles to make ends meet on a janitor's salary. He lives in Rancho Cordova because he says it's impossible for him to afford living in Sacramento. I'm paying $670. I'm struggling. Housing experts say the rent increase in Sacramento topped 9% this year and is expected to keep going up while home building lags. We're way behind across the country. We're one of the lowest producing uh, areas for new housing. Herb Cross is president of the Rental Housing Association for the Sacramento region. He says the recession placed the city behind in housing construction and now it's playing catch up with the rest of the nation. Until we get more development in the area, I think we're going to have a problem. Meanwhile, the fight for higher wages is becoming more intense. I barely bring home $600 every two weeks. While many workers are celebrating how lucky they are to have a job. They say it's still a struggle to survive in what seems to be a never-ending increase in the cost of rent. Now, Cross says he expects the cost of rent to begin leveling out sometime next year. He says as long as more apartments and homes continue to be built. It's a reflection of what's going on all across America with the middle-income class. They're just so. not keeping up. That's very clear. All right, Angela, thanks very much for that.